find in this video, I would like to show you how to hosting a website in the IIS on Azure Virtual Machine. Okay, so now let's get started. You open the browser and then access into the portal.azure.com website and then you go to the virtual machine you want to be set up, the IIS website. So here, this is my virtual machine. And let's see in the overview tab, we have some of the information of the virtual machine. Scroll it down to the virtual machine. You can see here is some of the basic information of the virtual machine. And in the networking session, we have the public IP address. Let's copy this one. And assuming you only have an account to get remote the laptop into the virtual machine. So I will open the remote desktop for now on my PC. Yeah. And then I will input the IP address here. Click on connect and provide the username and password in order to get the asset. Yes. It is connecting into the virtual machine for me. Yeah. So this is the virtual machine. So before we do the configuration, let me come back to the browser. And then I will paste the IP address here. Yeah, we cannot open the site on this PC with the public IP address. So in order to set up a website on this server, we need to enable the IIS on that server. So let me come back to the virtual machine. And then open the server manager. Yeah, okay, let me close this one. And I, and then I will open this again for you. Server manager, yeah, this one. And this is the Windows Server 2016 data center. Yeah. And let's go ahead to click on the S row and features. Next, next. Next, and in this step, you find the web server, IIS, yeah, add features, yeah, and the next step, click on next button. In this step, you can enable some of the .NET framework. Here, I will also enable the features for the .NET framework 3.5. Yeah, scroll it down, and if you think you need to enable any other feature here, you can go ahead to click on the check mark button. Yeah. Okay, let me see. So this one is hosting for the donate call. Okay, let me also enable this one. Night. Night. And for the role services. Like install, and then waiting for the installation until complete. Yeah, and so now the installation is completed. Let's close this one, and then open browser again. Refresh this one. Yeah. So for now, you can see the default page of the Internet Information Services. That means the virtual machine has been enabled the IIF successfully. Okay, so let me come back to the virtual machine. Close this one. And I click on Start button. And then open the Internet Information Services. Yeah, this one a new. Yeah, so now if you see here, we have the Internet Information Services Manager has been opened. Yeah. Go to the folder. Yeah. Okay, so this is the default web page. Let me create a file here for testing. Just a take file. See it.
let me open it and then enter something here. Hello from Jin VS. Save it up. Close. Okay, and then come back to the browser. Slash Jin.txt. Yeah. So you see here, we can see the message from tech file. Hello from Jin VS. Yeah. Back to the virtual machine. You can disable the services of this website. Just stop it. And then create a new site here. Okay, so let me create a folder to store the file first. After you install the IIS successful list on the virtual machine, we will have the folder INETPUB has been created. All of the website will be put into the root folder. GMVF folder. Okay. I copy this one and then the site name is GMVF. The physical path I will draw to the GMVF folder. In C drive. And for the binding, I will select the IP address. For the host name, give it by default. Okay. Let me come back to the default website. And I see the binding. Yeah. That the HTTP IP address is on the other side. Okay. Let me close this one. I do the same thing for the new website, the binding. Okay, on another side. Okay. Yeah. Close. Yeah. And then I back to the folder. I want to create a file here for that thing. The new. I will name this one be the index dot html. Yes. And then open this one in a text editor. I think I will change it back to the text file part. Yes. And then enter some the message here. Save it up. And next step, I will change this one to another extension, the HTML. Yeah. Back to the IIF. And then, let's click on the Pro button. It will open up browser on this server. Yeah. So you see here, it is running under the local hot. Yeah. Hello, thank you for watching my video, GNVS. Let me open the browser outside the virtual machine. Yeah. The new message. Hello, thank you for watching my video. Yeah, GNVS. Okay, cool. So I think that's all. And after you finish this video, you know how to install the IIS on the virtual machine. And after you install the IIS successfully on the virtual machine, you know how to set up a new website for the project. Okay. So thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.